We can also summarize subsets of variables. For example, suppose I'm interested in summarizing the fertility variable, but only for provinces where the agriculture variable is greater than 50. The key word there is where. Whenever I say the word where in my head because I want a subset, in R, I want to find a way to state that using a hard bracket. There's also a command in R called subset that does something similar and can be useful, but I find that uh, using these hard brackets allows you to take full advantage of um, what R can offer. So I'm going to summarize using the command summary the fertility vector, and I can print that out and look at it. There are all the fertility values of provinces in this data set where agriculture is greater than 50. So if I look at this subset, Swiss dollar sign fertility, where agriculture is greater than 50, that's a smaller number of fertility numbers. It's a subset of the original ones, um, only for the provinces where agriculture is greater than 50. And if I summarize that variable, then I can tell you that among provinces with agriculture greater than 50, the median fertility is 69.9, for example. I can also write more complicated statements inside the brackets. Suppose I want to summarize the subset of the fertility vector where either agriculture is greater than 50 or the Catholic variable is greater than 50. So if I look at that subset, that'll be a bigger subset because there are more um, provinces that have either a high level of agriculture or a high level of Catholics. So that contains more values than this earlier subset. Um, that only used the agriculture variable to create the subset. And so I can summarize this, and now I can tell you that among provinces where either agriculture is greater than 50 or Catholic is greater than 50, uh, the median fertility is 71.25. If I wanted to say that sentence with not or but and, I wanted to look at the subset with provinces that had agriculture greater than 50 and Catholic greater than 50, I could use this ampersand. Um, there's another symbol that you can use. It's two equal signs. In other words, instead of asking whether agriculture is greater than 50, I could ask whether agriculture is equal to 50. And I would to use two equal signs there rather than one, because if I use one equal sign, R thinks that we're setting something equal to something else. But what we're actually doing is just asking a question um, without trying to make any changes. So we would use the two equal signs there.